Hey guys, so we're out here in District 3. We're gonna buy some Gouda from right here. And then we're gonna go to Ho Kong Rua Park. And then we're gonna enjoy our Gouda. I'm gonna show you guys this park. I used to go to this park a lot, a long time ago. There used to be a lot of street food there. We just drove by. Unfortunately, there is no street food there tonight. I think the police have made some sort of ordinance where they can't sell the street food there. But there is some across the street. So I'm gonna take you guys to Gouda with us. I'm gonna show you guys the park and I'm gonna ramble on. I have some few things I wanna talk about. But first, let's get to the Gouda. What do you order? Tasse, tasse, chocolate chiller. Chocolate chiller, yes. yeah, small. Yes. What are you gonna get? I want to drink chadao. Chadao? Yeah. You want it big? Um, yeah, all big. Uh, not, uh, not small size, just have the... Medium? Medium. Okay, medium's fine. It's a sign of sign in Asia of prosperity if you have a big belly. So I'm showing off my prosperity by buying a $1.50 sugary chocolate drink. Actually guys, I don't think that really applies that much in Saigon. Sugar's so cheap. It's just something they said before I moved here. I'll meet you over there. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna kick it here. We're gonna wait for our dase, and then we're gonna head down the street. So if you guys see it down there, we're gonna enjoy our chocolate chiller, and then I'll show you guys the park and the street food. So I don't have my usual microphone tonight. My shotgun mic broke, where you insert the jack. It's broken, it's being shipped to China, so I'm using my lapel mic. Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to hear my girlfriend very well, or hear the environmental sounds like that mic can. It's all I got for right now. I'm just waiting, hopefully I'll get it back soon. But for now, I'm using the same mic that I use when I do my moto vlogs. So it's a little lapel mic on my shirt here. Since the police aren't allowing parking on the side anymore, even though I'm starting to see a few more motorbikes start to park over there, we actually had to forego the free parking like I normally would do a year ago and had to pay 10K, which is a little under 50 cents for parking. But it's always good to pay for parking, that way somebody else is held responsible for your bike. So if your bike were to get stolen, it's, it's not your fault, it's theirs. But I'm not sure what they would actually do about it. I've never had my bike stolen before. So I'm actually kind of curious. I'm not saying please come out and steal my bike, but I'm actually kind of curious. If anybody's got a story about how they park their bike in a place where they give you a ticket and your bike was stolen from that, did you get your bike back? I mean, did they give you money? I mean, what happened? I'm very curious. So if you guys have a story about that or know anybody that does, Leave that in the comments because I think that would be super interesting. And of course, guys, this is being filmed in a glorious 4K resolution on my GoPro 7 at 50 frames per second. And if you guys don't remember from my Bouvian video, the reason why I'm doing at 50 frames per second is because it matches the electric frequency here in uh, Asia. That way you won't see the fluorescent lights flicker. So this is my beautiful display here on the park bench for 84,000. We got three drinks because they're having a special. If you spend 80,000, you get one free. So there's two people and three drinks. Is that chocolate dasse, which is a chocolate chiller, which is ice and sugar and chocolate cream. This is blackberry. And my girlfriend got a, a lemon tea, so I have a spicy lemon tea. So this is what we're gonna be drinking here. Okay, so we just finished our drinks. And this park is called Ko Kon Rua, which means Turtle Lake. And the reason they call that is because when they built this as a water tower, my girlfriend is digging her hand in my pocket and making it hard for me to walk. I have you. When they built this as a water tower back in the 70s, there used to be a gigantic metal turtle up there, but it was destroyed in an explosion about 10 years after it was built. So, but they still call it Turtle Lake. Now, usually there's a lot of street food out here. Before COVID, this place would be just littered, literally littered with trash, but it used to be littered with street food and vendors and there used to be barks ah, used to be bikes parked all around the edge so i think the police have come out here and cleaned it up a little bit because it was illegal to park your bike so a few things i want to talk about is there's been a lot of things going on in the past five days or so there's been a lot of things going on in the past week or so what's been happening is for some reason my channel has gained a lot of popularity and because of that popularity, we're getting an influx of people in the Discord server. So there was some drama over the past few days of some guys in the Discord server. They were, uh, well, causing a lot of problems to say the least. 
Let's walk up here so I can show, show these guys a shot of the lake from the top. So I assigned a couple of moderators and I just want to ask you guys to try to keep it civil in Discord. Stop posting pictures of porn and saying you're going to go out and kill other people and making threats to other YouTubers. <laughs> it's just not a cool thing to do. So I'd appreciate it if you guys would knock that off. So here's a nice top view of the lake. Well, we actually used to be able to go inside here. Locked. They got it locked. Yeah. So we can't go in. So this is it right in the heart of District 3. This is a very popular lake for uh, young folks to come and hang out and drink milk tea from Fuklam or Guta like we did and just come out and get away from their parents. A lot of university students, a lot of high school students. <laughs> Someone actually accused me of being a TikToker when they saw my camera. I mean, do I not look like I'm 39 years old? I barely know what TikTok is. So I've made a few videos. I've gone out and done some things. And then sometimes I force my content. I go out and I want to do something and I'm, not, I'm too tired or I'm not really too talkative that day. You know how human beings are. You guys are human beings. So sometimes you're just not too talkative and you're not really feeling it. So what I'm going to do now is now I'm going to start making those videos, but I'm not going to put them for the general public. I am running a Patreon and I want to provide Patreon people for something to watch. So even though I'm not in my best form, if you guys do want to support my channel, if you want to pay $5 a month, you can sign up for Patreon and you guys can have access to those videos. You guys will also have access to my attention. And for Patreon users, I'm going to allow one user requested video specifically what you guys want me to show you in Saigon or nearabouts. You know, don't make me drive to Hanoi, for example. But, and I'll make that video just for you guys and to make it available only to you guys. But I do reserve the right for after 30 days or so to release it to the public. But it's a good way to get your suggestions across to me. A lot of people make suggestions to me. I should make this kind of content or do a video about this and that. And I do work five days a week, so it's hard for me to fulfill everybody's requests. And I'm still very comfortable in the whole vlogging thing. A lot of people have asked me to make almost like documentary type videos, and I'm not really good at that yet. But if you guys become a Patreon, I will listen to you guys, and I'll make a video just for you guys. Nobody else will see it. And if it's really good, after 30 days, I'll make it public. So if that's something that interests you for $5 a month, please consider that. But anyways, back to the Discord drama. It all started on my live stream, which is the last live stream I published and what happened it was a gentleman named Saigon and he, he had many different names <laughs> I'll flip the camera so you guys don't have to look at my ugly boat race he came in the live stream and started saying a bunch of fascist and Nazis type propaganda and I let it go for a little bit but people in the chat were complaining so I eventually had to boot him and you know how it is with YouTube you just come back in with a different name or a different account and he comes right back in he didn't bother me too much and then he found his way into discord and, you know, I thought it was kind of silly at first, so I was kind of, you know, egging him along. And by doing that, I set a little bit of a precedent, and I encouraged other people to kind of egg him on, and that was a mistake. I went to bed that night, and I woke up to a lot of DMs complaining about the guy. Uh, I guess he was threatening to kill people. He was posting pornography. He was saying he was going to air raid. He was calling all foreigners trash. You know, he was just being a racist pig, so... By request of the community, that guy has been removed and we're not gonna tolerate that anymore in the Discord server. I have two really good moderators now and I'm so glad I found them. I kinda went with my gut. One guy was a guy that's been there since the beginning. It was actually his suggestion that I start the Discord. And another guy is a newer guy, but I felt like me and him connected pretty, pretty quickly. And I went with my gut and I felt like he was a trustworthy guy. So hopefully my server will be a little cleaner now. Uh, another thing too is I'm gonna make my Discord server 18 and over. So you guys can continue talking about the things you guys talk about, of course. But there's not gonna be any more threats on other YouTubers and there's not gonna be any more pornography and there's not gonna be any of that, more of that weirdo shit. So the reason why I think all of this is happening is because in the past week or so, my channel went from getting probably about a thousand views a day to anywhere between 10 and 15,000 views a day 
My subscriber numbers have completely jumped up. I don't know what's going on, and I think that's great. Wow, we've done a full lap already. Is this a different way up? Is this the same stairs? The same stairs we went up at first? Wow. So we've already done a full lap around the lake. So here's the lake from another angle. Kind of same from the top. Yeah, but I don't know what happened. I guess the YouTube algorithm gods have finally blessed me and sent my video out to a lot of people that like this kind of content. I started doing this as a hobby. I did this for fun because I was getting bored and I'm so, so uh, excited. It feels so awesome that people think that this is entertaining and it's fantastic. I'm happy to show you guys my life here in Saigon. For those of you guys that don't know me, my name is uh, Adam and what I do on my channel is I share my life here in Saigon, Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City, as I work and as I live here. I'm just trying to bring you guys along on the journey and perhaps maybe encourage you guys to make a journey of your own, maybe to Vietnam, maybe to somewhere else, whether it be in Asia or Europe. If you're feeling mundane in your life, like you're just going to work every day and you know you're, you got the same friends that you've had since high school, you're not meeting any new people. Your cost of living is maybe a little high. You feel like you're not going anywhere in life in that regards. I highly recommend moving to Asia. It's done a lot for me socially. I was a very introverted person, so I didn't have very many social skills. And I've developed a lot of social skills since I've been here. I've also put myself on a career path that has made me develop more into a man and become a better person instead of just a lonely, slightly overweight guy that would just go to work every day and come home and play video games and see the same friends that he saw every day on the weekends or the same friends that he had for 20 years, you know, see him on an occasional weekend. So I wanted to thank everybody that's been coming out to my live streams. The last live stream was four hours long almost and I, that was amazing that I did it for that long. I felt like time just flew by like it was only an hour. You guys are great to talk to. I love meeting you guys in the live stream. Next weekend is a uh, Independence Day here in Vietnam and it's also International Workers Day. So next weekend they're having an event down on Nguyen Hue. So I'll be taking the camera down there and showing you guys that like I did in my Tet video. So every Saturday I'm going to do those live streams. Hopefully I'll see even more of you guys coming out and hopefully the regulars will keep coming back. And that brings me back to the Patreon subject. What I've decided is for the live streams I'm going to keep three posted, a rolling three. And once I get to the fourth, as an example, I'm going to un unlist the first one and make those available to patrons only. Right now, the chat has disappeared for some reason on my first live stream. I've contacted Google support, so they're supposed to be fixing that for me. Well, that's enough of me blathering on. We're a little bit hungry because we kept dinner light tonight because we knew there would be some street food out here. So we're going to go over here and buy some street food. Where is it that you wanted to go? Right here? I see. So we're gonna go find us some street food and get us a little snack. Even though, to be honest, I'm a little full after that, that chocolate shake. But I can munch on something. Let's see what they got here. Trey Tron. Cha Bo Tron. Yeah, that's very spicy. So we're gonna buy the baby duck egg. Let's see how that tastes. Stay in Vietnamese. Oh. Cut loans sao me. So this is what we got. Baby duck eggs. And it looks like it's fried in some uh, green beans and peanuts. So here's the, yeah, here's yeah. the baby duck egg. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So this is my first time trying baby duck egg. So let's see how this goes. Actually, you know what? It tastes just like a normal duck egg. That's actually pretty good. And with the sauce and the peanuts, it's actually rather delicious. And this only costs 35K, so that's about $1.70. I'll put the price on the screen. I mean, if you think about it, aren't all eggs babies? If you're eating a chicken's egg, aren't you eating a baby chicken? So I guess there's nothing unusual. It actually tastes pretty good. It tastes like a normal duck egg. It's just smaller than a full-sized egg. So I guess it's more uh, embryotic embryotic is that a word so that was pretty good it's not a typical Tuesday night for us but I wanted to show you guys this park it's 
probably been over a year, if not longer, since I've been here. I don't know if I'm being redundant, guys, but I appreciate you guys so much. All this attention that I've been getting lately, everybody coming and subscribing and viewing my channel. If you guys are actually interested in my life here in Vietnam, it's very cool that if you guys would subscribe to me, that would be awesome and appreciated. If you guys could give this video a thumbs up, that would be great. If you guys could leave a comment, that would also be cool. And if you're wondering why I'm talking slower now, it's because my girlfriend says I talk way too fast. And she reminded me that there are some Vietnamese people that watch my videos and they like the way I talk, but would appreciate it if I talked a little slower. So I can't make any promises, but I'll do my best. I'm very happy that I could show you guys this park. As you can see, it's a very popular park. Turtle Park. And as I said, the reason why they called it that is because there used to be a giant turtle way up there on top of the water tower. But even though the turtle's gone, we still call it Turtle Park. So my girlfriend wants to walk out here. So I'll show you guys what it's like out here. A lot of people sitting out here enjoying their private time with their lovers, their boyfriends and their girlfriends. It's out towards the middle of the lake. I'm actually kind of glad she talked me into coming out here. This is kind of neat. I am sweating really bad. It is very humid today. Usually this park, a year ago, this park had a really foul odor to it. This year I'm not noticing it, so I think they may have cleaned it a little bit. All right, let's walk on out, back out of here. Oh, I guess we can walk this way. We'll take a different way back. Let's take this long one right here. I'll make sure I don't step on this guy's fingers. Looks like they got a little ladder going up there. Yeah, I'm not too old. No, I say it's too old. Oh, it's too old? Yeah. The spacings of the ladder don't make it very feasible to climb. If you guys don't know where this park is at, I'm gonna put it on the map for you right now. So if you're ever in District 3 in Ho Chi Minh City, also known as Saigon, you know a lot of people in my comments sometimes correct me. They tell me not to call it Ho Chi Minh City. They tell me to call it Saigon or vice versa. For me, the name Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon has no political affiliations for me. One's just easier to say than another. I mean, I prefer to say Saigon but when I'm typing, I like to say HCMC because it's just a lot easier to type. I saw a Reddit thread the other day about how Vietnamese people feel about foreigners after the war, particularly Americans. And I feel, and this is just coming from somebody that's lived in the south of Vietnam, I feel like the Vietnamese people act like the war never even happened. They know I'm American and they take great interest in the fact that I'm American, but I never feel any kind of animosity. They never blame me for anything that happened in this country. It's not like I was here anyways. I wasn't even born yet. Oh, I was born in the 80s. Whoa, check out that car. Some people here in Saigon have some really flashy cars. If you guys are interested, my life's really good. A lot of it's a thanks to you guys for watching my content and talking to me. I feel like I've made 2,000 new friends since I started this channel. Thank you all for taking an interest in my life in Saigon. Thanks for watching my vlogs. You guys are awesome, and I hope you guys stay that way. You look like a schoolgirl sitting next to me.